boys and girls, Miss Donna here, and we are going to continue with our lessons on bugs. Small creatures, big lessons. And we're going to start right out with a word of prayer. Lord, thank you so much for this time. Thank you for the boys and girls. Thank you for all that you have done for us, Lord. Help us to praise you in all we say, think, and do in Jesus' name. Amen. Happy 4th of July, boys and girls. I'm sure you had a great day yesterday, and today it's another hot one. But we are going to visit with Skittles. What's up? to the double T L A S Skittles in the hizzy, and I'm ready to get busy telling you what's up. Today, we are talking about ants and how we should work together. So every time somebody asks you what's up, you tell them. You and me, we agree we will work in unity. Sometimes Christians don't always get along. They fight and argue about the silliest things. I'm mad at you. Well, I'm mad at you, too. Well, you didn't even shake my hand. Well, that's because you got cooties. But, but that ain't what God wants us to do. Oh, no. He wants us to work together, get along, and be on the same team. I'm sorry, man. Me, too. Give me a hug. <sighs> so, anytime. Anytime somebody asks you what's up, you tell them. You and me, we agree we will work in unity. And that is what's up. I got a rainbow flavor and I'm living for my savior. Skills is out for this thing. Boys and girls, what's up? You and me. We agree we will work in unity. That's right, boys and girls. And that's what we're going to learn from our little creatures, the ants, today. You and me, we agree we will work in unity. Boys and girls, we're going to start out with our Bible story, which is found in Exodus chapter 17. Now, it starts off with the people of Israel were in a bad situation. As a matter of fact, their bad situation was that they were in a battle with the Amalekites. Now, Moses had taken the people out into the desert. Remember, after the um, Egyptians chased them out of Egypt, after they left Egypt, and then they went through the Red Sea. And then, boys and girls, they ended up out in the desert. So they're walking around, and they come upon this land, and... They settle there, but there's a problem. The Amalekites decide they want the land back. And so Joshua, who is the leader of the army, he takes a bunch of the guys and they go to fight the Amalekites. Where we find them is Moses went up to the top of the mountain and you can see, boys and girls, how they're fighting all these little black things down there. That's the people fighting. And Moses went up to the top of the mountain, and he stood up there, and he held his arms in the air with the staff of the Lord in his hands. God had given him that staff, and that's the staff he used when he went to Pharaoh. Well, boys and girls, God used that staff in a miraculous way. Why do you think he was doing that? Because he was, was he trying to prove how strong he was? No, of course not. Moses was praying for Joshua and the Israelites to win the battle. And boys and girls, as long as Moses held his hands up in the air with that staff, Joshua and the Israelites were winning. But when Moses lowered his arms, because... He was so tired and stopped praying. Joshua and the Amalek, or Joshua and the Israelites would start to lose the battle. So when Moses' arms got tired, look what happened, boys and girls, two 
of his friends, Aaron and her, would hold up Moses' arms as they would start to drop. They held Moses' arms up as he prayed all day long until sunset. And boys and girls, as a result, Joshua and the Israelites defeated the Amalekites and they won the battle. Oh my goodness, boys and girls, our verse today talks about that. It says in 1 Corinthians 3, 9, we work together as partners who belong to God. 1 Corinthians 3, 9, we means you and me and all of our brothers and sisters in Christ. We work together. You don't do things alone. If you have a partner, then things are going to go well with you. And so it says we work together as partners who belong to God. Other people will see us working together and getting things done. And that's a way we can share Christ with them. So boys and girls, our verse, let's read it again. 1 Corinthians 3, 9. We work together as partners who belong to God. 1 Corinthians 3, 9. We all work together, boys and girls. That's how we're here today. And we need to remember that we're all on God's team. You know, we're learning a big lesson today from that little creature, the ants. Ants work together. Think about it. You rarely see ants on their own. We're going to go here. You rarely see ants, you rarely see ants on, you, on their own. You usually see them in a bunch. And that's because they're out doing a task, carrying food, building their homes, but they always work together and they work hard. They never are by themselves. If you see an ant by itself and no other ants around, that means the ant is lost. But you know what? <clears throat> ants were created by God to do that. Ants even have st two stomachs, boys and girls. One stomach is for themselves, and the other stomach is to hold food so that they can feed other ants. Kind of weird, isn't it? I don't think, yeah, I don't, I'm glad God didn't make us like the ant, aren't you? Well, one of my favorite movies is <laughs> A Bug's Life. Do you remember that movie, boys and girls? In that movie, we saw the ants working together. And they had to work together in order for victory to come. Well, boys and girls, we need to work together because we're all on the same team, God's team. Y'all love sports. And you know, if you were a football player and you didn't have the other 10 people out there helping you, you wouldn't do very good in football, would you? No, you have to have those other people. You have to have receivers and quarterbacks and linemen. You need all those people to do their thing. Well, it's the same with us. We're all, and I keep switching that. Sorry, boys and girls. We're all on God's team. We're working together to win this game of life. And we want as many people as possible to join that team. We can't be arguing and fighting with one another. That won't help us accomplish the goal. We must defeat the devil together. And we can do that by sharing Jesus with other boys and girls and, and having them ask Jesus into their hearts. Not only are we all on one team, but boys and girls, we're all part of one body. Pastor talked about this last week. And Mr. or Pastor Jeff, he talked about it a few weeks ago. You know what? All of us are special in the part of the body of Christ. Now, what would happen if the hand got mad at the eye and decided it was going to fight against it? What if it decided that it was going to cover up the eye so that it can't see? What would happen? Well, probably that person would fall down because they'd run into things. It wouldn't make sense for the hand to fight with the eye. Well, in the same way, it only hurts us, Christians, when we don't work together. 
When we fight against each other, it keeps us from accomplishing the goal that God has for us, for the body of Christ. So instead of fighting against one another, we must be like the ants. We must work together because together we can make a difference. We may not realize it, boys and girls, but we need each other. If I told you your job was to reach the entire world with the good news of God, but you have to do it yourself, it would be pretty impossible, wouldn't it? But today, together, we can partner with each other and partner with missionaries, and we can make a difference. Boys and girls, we need to be like the ants. We need to work together. Remember, if we go back our what's up, you and me, we agree, we will work in unity. Boys and girls, make that your promise to God today, that you're going to work together. Work hard like the ants. We're going to pray right now in Jesus' name. We love you, Lord. We thank you for this day. We thank you, Lord, that we learn a little about the ant and how those ants work together and big things happen. Lord, help each one of us to work together with one another in your love so that big things can happen. We love you, God. In Jesus' name, amen. We'll see you next week, boys and girls. Bye-bye. Duke.